Hi guys, it's Anne. So this time I'm gonna show you how to make a striped bead using a simple two colored twisty. You could use a three colored twisty if you happen to have one of those made up. Um, but this one is just gonna be a cute little black and white striped bead. I like to start my beads for these with, with the twisties with a base bead. So I'm just gonna use some tuxedo black that I have. And I'm going to use clear. I will need a pair of nippers for this bead. And depending on what shape you wanna make, you'll need either a bead roller or you don't need to use a bead roller if you don't care. If your beads are the same size or if you're super good about getting them all the same size. I'm certainly better at it than I was when I started, but I'm still not perfect at it, so I like to use them. So what I'm going to do is I've made this tiny little black spacer, and I'm just going to lay this down just like I did with the donut um, rainbow bead that I made. Beating up my twisty a little bit and my base bead a little bit and marrying the two together and I go almost all the way to the end where it would meet and then I try and nip it so that I will have enough left to put the faces together. So that's when your tungsten tweezers come in handy because you want to kind of push that face that's poking up down into the face of the where you started and that'll finish off your twisty look prettier than if uh, if you just tried to pull it pull the twisty down to a taper now I'm just evening this so that it's straighter on my base bead because what I'm going to do Okay, so I've got it down, and it's just going to be a cute little black and white stripe bead. So I'm going to go ahead and melt this most of the way down into that base bead. But not quite all the way, because I want to have it a little raised for when I put my clear on. What the clear is going to do is it's going to spread it out so it looks more like a, a, a striped bead. And I want it to spread that black and white twisty that I put on there, not the black base bead. So I want that twisty a little bit raised still when I go to add this clear. And to start with, you want to make sure that your base bead is cool otherwise when you put that clear on you might skew those little twists okay of your twisty so i put three rounds of clear on this and i'm going to slowly melt that clear in trying not to go one way or the other way trying to hit it head head on and it's going to naturally go around that twisty to round it out and it's going to pull it on either side down and make a beautiful pucker You don't want to be in a rush when you're doing this clear because it's easy to get them off center. If they get a little off center, you can use your tweezers here and get it back under control. But you can see, isn't that a, it's a cute, cute little uh, pattern there with not much work? You know, you make the twisty and then you can make that super cute striped striped bead without having to lay down stringers. 
<laughs> so you get that look without all the work. Alright, so I like the size and the look of this guy. I'm going to just pull out my bead roller and see if I can't make sure that he's the size I think he is, which he is. So he fit nicely in there. I'm just going to take out any chill marks and put them in the kiln. And like I say, I'll be showing you all of these beads that I've made with the instruction videos in on the uh, Beginner Lampwork Fun Challenge page at the beginning of this September, this month. Okay, so I hope you guys will try these. They're super fun. Thanks, bye.